scientists are advocating a national policy to tackle overweight and obesity among Ghanaians. Principal investigator for re of researching obesogenic food environments says the situation requires urgent action for healthy food environment. Dr. Reginald Ajete Anan spoke at a collaborative research workshop in Kumasi. Herbert Blankson needs to restock his consumables. He usually buys them in park. There's no better place than the Kumasi City Mall. It's a 10-minute drive from home, but he seems not bored it. For petty petty stuff, with like pork, uh, water and bread or something, I get them from the local areas. But... A 2016 study in Ghana shows 99.9% .9 of households depend on traditional markets to source their food, including processed. Preference is attributed to greater variety, lower price and proximity. What some have described as supermarketization uh, occurs in Ghana. It is occurring, but it's still at the very early stages. That's where we are. Now, people tend to buy more traditional foodstuffs and then they would also buy um, what do you call it uh, processed foods but essentially people are buying from the question we really wanted to answer is what where are they buying from and they are buying from uh, open markets researchers stress need for interventions to ensure local markets stock a variety of fresh rather than processed foods to promote health According to the World Health Organization, nearly 2 billion adults across the globe were estimated to be overweight in 2014. Recent study shows 43% of Ghanaian adults are found to be obese. Health professionals establish obesity is an important risk factor for diabetes, high blood pressure and other non-communicable diseases. People from government Preliminary findings suggest Ghana's environment is flooded with foods that increase the risk of obesity and associated complications. Food environment is also driven by trade, and trade policies determine what is available. Now we know using the turkey tail example that a policy that restricts the amount of fat that is in meat um, can reduce unhealthy um, food in the environment. Using this, we think that both the formal and informal sector need to be targeted on our researching Dr. obesogenic Adrian. food environments is a three-year joint study between Ghana and South Africa funded by International Development Research Center it seeks to understand changing nature of food marketed in poor communities in both countries uncommunicable diseases as a result of that is a complex matter it's not something that can be investigated by one individual or one um, grouping, but it actually requires multi-sectoral, multidisciplinary interaction. The second phase of the program will focus on retail energy and value chain. We want to understand. For Joy News, Kwesi Debra.